All right, guys, so another week and another video on this Cutler Nutrition channel. So I just finished up a training session, and I'll be honest, uh, you know, I had a trip back uh, last week to the East Coast, and I got to a good groove. I was training in Boston, went out to Gym Hub, which that you can see on my other channel, which is launching tomorrow, actually. You'll see uh, that on Jay Cutler TV, but... You know, when I talk about traveling, it's so funny how many people hit me up and they ask me about, hey, is there any good gyms to train at? But you know what the funny thing is? People don't touch upon the nutrition factor as much. And the truth is, is I'm always prepared when I travel to all these different places. Although I was going back and I was spending time with family, it was more of a leisure trip, which I never do, by the way. I've always done trips that were related to work or whatever else. So. I actually flew back, got to see my mom, got to visit with Angie's family a little bit. And then uh, we did not uh, get to train for like two or three days. So to be honest, I was a little out of the loop. Uh, not a huge deal because I actually shipped some meals out there and I'm actually gonna cook a meal right now, which I'm gonna show you, which is actually a prepared meal, but I'm gonna show you how I actually heat these up because anyone that's followed me knows that you know, microwaving stuff isn't always the best way, although that's the only way you can really do it on the road. But if you're going to travel, you need to focus on what the nutrition is going to be. Because listen, you can't run off, run off protein shakes and not everyone eats, eats canned tuna or bag tuna or like the canned chicken. But that's a good alternative. I mean, I used to use chicken in a can. Uh, I used to use tuna. I mean, that was the budget way to do it. But today, what's changed from 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, is we all have the ability to get a hold of a meal prep company. So if you're traveling in an area, or if you use a current meal prep company, uh, you know, there's so many out there that will cater to what you just have to get a refrigerator and a microwave, obviously, to be able to hit up those meals. But the beneficial thing is, you know, when you're at home, you can kind of prepare your meals the way that you like them. But unfortunately, the ability to eat on the road is gonna, it's gonna, you know, be a little bit off. And that's one thing I learned over the years, whether I was guest posing or whatnot. In my contract, I would write, uh, you know, availability to, for the meals and the food. And remember, it fits my specific diet. So oftentimes I'd write in and say, I need chicken and rice available. I need some egg whites available. I need some sort of ability to be able to heat up food. I mean, we used to travel with George Foreman Grills. Who remembers that? And now today, you know, we have, you know, those meals that come right in the containers and everything. All you got to do is just take the plastic off and you're eating them and we all have preference of meal prep companies um, but you know it all comes down to hey what's going to cater to your diet specifically when you travel so uh, I'm getting back on groove um, it's really important like I said to keep everything in check keep your uh, keep your food in place your sleep patterns in place and of course we don't miss the training so Stay tuned, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna eat this post work. I just did back, just filmed it for YouTube. It's gonna be available the next week. Uh, and uh, it was all in all good workout. It was my first back workout in well over a week because uh, I did miss back day, but man, it feels so good to be back. Back in Vegas, everyone keeps asking me, how's the heat in Vegas? And I said, well, it's cool in the car and it's cool in my house, so I'm okay with that. So stay tuned guys, all right? This is some chicken and rice and some vegetables right now. I'm actually going to use a skillet. So there's about five ounces of chicken in here. And then there's a cup of rice. So I'm going to heat this up. I don't think I'm going to actually, I'm not going to use any sauce. So this is a post-workout meal. So always, always, always my go-to was either a shake and some carbs or chicken and rice. And as you see, Angie's going to... Make some a la carte yeah. chicken. Okay, so... I'm gonna make some a la carte chicken with some white rice. And so she asked me, this is gonna be my meal immediately because I'm actually starving right now. And I'm making some for us later. You're gonna what? I'm gonna make some for later for us. Okay, so we'll be able to have some food for chicken. later on. So always post-workout guys. Uh, post-workout, I always talk about post-workout nutrition. Uh, super important. You know, I've obviously obviously done a lot of different diets over the years for what I've, depending on what time it was for me to constantly put on muscle, lean out, 
So instead of doing the microwave, I'll just skillet this like this. And look, it, I mean, I didn't have to add anything to it. I'm not going to put any salt, anything in it. This is a mega fit meal. This is actually the fried chicken, fried chicken uh, dish. Chicken fried rice. So it's 37 grams of protein and 50 grams of carbs. So it's uh, just a little bit, just heated it up. And it's going to be my my post-workout nutrition. And I'm probably actually going to eat another hour once you cook this bad boy up. I'll get a little bit of you filming, so I'm cook, cooking that up, and then you kind of go from there. Grilled onions. Tomato. A little bit of olive oil, right? Yep. Once again, chicken's already cooked, but so what else goes in it? Put a little bit of garlic, which you see there. Go to the sea salt, pepper, and then some cilantro paste. Just to curl it in. Cilantro paste. And with a little bit of sesame and water, I dilute it. Gives it a lot more flavor. We don't need any sauces. You let that marinate for a couple of minutes. Then you put your tomatoes in and let it cook for another two minutes. So these will be my meals for later. So like I was talking about in the beginning of this video, guys, you always gotta stay ahead, right? Guys, one part I didn't put in there the rice. So ready, ready. What are these tomato, what are these onions for? I'm making some beans. Oh, you're gonna put beans in here too? There we go. Food for later. Shout out to Cutler Nutrition YouTube video, Angie. Angie's cooking segment. Once again, every Monday here, Cutler Nutrition in uh, YouTube. Make sure you guys check out what we have uh, just shout out. You know, sometimes we're doing products, sometimes today is food, food and uh, post workout meal. So, all right, like, make sure you guys comment below and uh, appreciate you guys following along.